T.J. Hooker was a police drama that premiered as a mid-season replacement on March 13, 1982, and it ran on ABC until May 4, 1985. Sergeant T.J. Hooker is a veteran police officer with a strong hatred for criminal activity. He declines numerous promotions just to be out on the streets battling crime and not wasting his time behind a desk. He cruises the city in a squad car with his headstrong rookie partner, Vince Romano. And when not on the beat, he is teaching new recruits at the police academy, which includes the sexy Stacy Sheridan, who is the daughter of Hooker's commanding officer. But what happened to the cast after the show ended? William Shatner played Sergeant T.J. Hooker, whose partner was killed in the line of duty, which gave him motivation to rid the streets of crime. After the show ended, he returned to his popular Captain Kirk role in Star Trek IV, Star Trek V, and Star Trek VI, and also did voice work for the Star Trek 25th Anniversary video game. Then he went on to do the TV movies Tech War and all the subsequent films and video games. Because of the success of T.J. Hooker, Shatner also hosted the popular TV show Rescue 911 from 1989 to 1996. During the late 1990s, he also had guest appearances on the TV show Third Rock from the Sun, and then he became the pitch man for Priceline.com. During the 2000s, he starred in the movies Miss Congeniality and Miss Congeniality 2, and the TV show Boston Legal, which lasted for five seasons. He has since made guest appearances on Psych, Hot in Cleveland, Haven, The Big Bang Theory, and Private Eyes. He is now 92 years old and has been married four times and has three children from his first marriage. Shatner's third wife, Naren Kidd, died in 1999 after an accidental drowning that involved alcohol and Valium, with Shatner coming home to discover his wife's body in their pool. Adrian Zemed played Officer Vince Romano, a rookie cop. After the series ended, he guest starred in shows like The Love Boat, Hotel, Empty Nest, and Murder, She Wrote. In 1992, he appeared off-Broadway in the musical version of Eating Raoul. He also headlined the musical Children of Eden at the Paper Mill Playhouse. Then he made more guest appearances on shows like Silk Stockings, The Steve Harvey Show, Caroline in the City, and Diagnosis Murder. In 2008, Zemed was under contract by Princess Cruise Lines and performed in concert aboard their ships for one season. He has been married three times and has two children from his first marriage. Heather Locklear played Officer Stacy Sheridan, the attractive daughter of Captain Sheridan. After T.J. Hooker ended, she continued working on the TV show Dynasty as Sammy Joe Carrington until the show ended in 1989, and also was in Dynasty The Reunion in 1991. She made TV movies like Highway Heartbreaker, Body Language, Illusions, Fade to Black, and was also in the movie Wayne's World 2. Then she landed on the already successful TV shows Melrose Place and Spin City, which lasted through 2002. During the 2000s, she also made guest appearances on Boston Legal, Rules of Engagement, Hannah Montana, and Hot in Cleveland. Most recently, she was in Franklin and Bash and Too Close to Home, but they were both canceled during the first season. Famously, she was married to Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee from 1986 to 1993, and then to Richie Sambora, the guitarist for Bon Jovi from 1994 to 2007. Locklear and Sambora have one daughter together. Over the last decade, Locklear has dealt with personal problems that relate to her drug and alcohol abuse. She has been arrested for DUI, battery on a police officer, and domestic violence, and has also had issues with depression leading to suspected suicide attempts. Richard Hurd played Captain Dennis Sheridan, who is the tough but understanding superior officer. After the show ended, he was in the movies Summer Rental and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. He made guest appearances on shows like Simon and Simon, Matlock, The Golden Girls, Knott's Landing, China Beach, and many more. Then he made TV movies, including Fall from Grace, Camp Cucamonga, and Majority Rule. He 
he played Secretary General Noyce in Sequest 2032 for 12 episodes, and appeared on Seinfeld as Mr. Wilhelm, George Costanza's boss with the New York Yankees. From there, he went back to movies like The Survivor, Affair to Remember, A Christmas in New York, Get Out, and The Mule. He was married three times and had two children, but Heard died at age 87 from complications with colon cancer on May 26, 2020. James Darren played Officer Jim Corrigan, another veteran cop. After the series ended, he made guest appearances on shows like Raven, Renegade, Silk Stockings, Diagnosis Murder, and Melrose Place. He also directed some episodes and launched a directing career, notably with action-based series, including Hunter, The A-Team, Silk Stockings, Renegade, and Nowhere Man, as well as dramas such as Beverly Hills 90210 and Melrose Place. Then he appeared as Vic Fontaine on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. His role in Deep Space Nine inspired his return to singing as he was also a pop singer in the 1950s and 60s. Many of his vocal performances on the show were re-recorded for the album This One's From The Heart. His last roles were in the movies Random Acts and Lucky. He is now 87 years old and has been married two times with three children. Hugh Farrington played Detective Pete O'Brien, the new boss who was a veteran detective wounded in the line of duty. After the program ended, he had limited TV and movie exposure. He made guest appearances on the shows MacGyver and The Golden Girls. Then he had roles in the movies Arizona Heat and Caged Fury. Farrington was never married and had no children, and he died on August 7, 2001, at the age of 70. Lee Bryant played Fran Hooker, TJ Hooker's ex-wife, in seven episodes. After the show ended for her, she made guest appearances on American Playhouse, Highway to Heaven, St. Elsewhere, Moonlighting, As the World Turns, Spin City, and Law and Order. Then she had roles in the movies Holy Man, Fear of Fiction, The Good Shepherd, Friends with Kids, and No Letting Go. She retired in 2015 and is now 78 years old. Nicole Eggert played Chrissy Hooker in five episodes of TJ Hooker. After the series ended, she did the TV movies Rose Petal Place, I Dream of Jeannie 15 Years Later, and Annihilator. She made guest appearances on Who's the Boss, the new Leave it to Beaver, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, and CBS School Break Special. Then she played Jamie Powell on five seasons of Charles in Charge, and played Summer Quinn in the very successful show Baywatch from 1992 to 1994. Through the end of the 1990s, she guest starred on shows like Married with Children, Clueless, Boy Meets World, and The Outer Limits. She made several Christmas films that premiered on Lifetime, like Holiday Switch and A Christmas Proposal during the 2000s. Since then, she has popped up on reality shows like Celebrity Fit Club, Splash, and Botched. During the 1990s, Eggert was engaged to actor Corey Haim, with whom she appeared in multiple movies. She is credited with helping to save his life at least once by taking him to the hospital to detox after heavy drug use, but they ultimately split up. She is now 51 years old and has never been married, but she does have two children. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and maybe even consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this playlist. While you're at it, hit subscribe and share Recollection Road Entertainment with someone you know. As always, thank you so much for watching.